Kitty Kato Kato. Welcome to Turn 3. We hope your holidays were mint. I'm Lids. And I'm Liam. And this is Info Jam, where we stop and update you on news and info from the past week. Woo! Leading news this week, Prime Minister Chris Hipkins has successfully signed a free trade deal with the European Union after more than a decade of negotiations. Now, under the deal, almost all of New Zealand's exports to the EU will become duty-free. This means that 97% of current exports will no longer be subject to tariffs, which are taxes. Once fully implemented, the FTA will create new opportunities for exports worth over $600 million annually. However, not everyone is entirely satisfied. The meat industry in particular expressed disappointment with the outcomes for its producers. Wow, big stuff happening. Yeah, big stuff, big words. I think I just kind of grasped what's going on. Well, that's, that's cool. It's cool that after a decade of negotiations, they've come to like yeah, an agreement. A whole decade. That's like half my life. It's a lot of Crazy. hard work there. Yeah. <laughs> in world news, the annual running of the Bills has kicked off Ooh. in Spain. The Bill running takes place from July the 6th to the 14th with eight runs in total. Each morning at 8 o'clock, six fighting bills and six tame oxen charge along the 875 metre course with around 2,000 brave individuals running in front of them. The tradition is believed to have started long ago when apprentice butchers helped bring the bills into the city. The young men would run in front of the animals to guide them, and over time, the public joined in. Today, it has become a famous spectacle that draws visitors from all around the world. While the running of the bills remains a thrilling spectacle for some, its controversy highlights the ongoing debate about the treatment of animals in such events. Mm, it's a tricky one, eh? It is a very tricky but one. It's like this tradition that's like been going for years, but it's also like... The times have changed a bit. Yeah, is it looking after the animals? Mm, Got to weigh that up. I did used to play a game about you the bill running thing. It was, oh. it was a fun game, but it was like a parkour game. I suppose the game's kind of good. Yeah, the yeah. game was good. Nice. From the Odstaff file, the Toronto Zoo has put limits on screen time for its gorillas. Now the zoo has put signs up asking visitors to refrain from showing videos on phones as it can impact the gorillas' behaviour and relationships within their family. Wow. <laughs> Nessa, a gorilla born in 2009, has shown a particular interest in videos on visitors' phones. The zoo's website states that Nessa is fascinated by videos and would spend all his time on screen if he had the choice. The goal of the no videos request is to let the gorillas be gorillas and provide visitors with the chance to observe them in their natural state. Sounds like Nessa is a teenager. <laughs> well, 2009 he would be. Yeah. Yeah, he would be a teenager, classic that, that teenager. Mate, classic teenage gorilla wanting Just to be in the phone to all the, the screen. time. <laughs> that, that's, that cracked me up, i got to say. In sports, the All Blacks launched an impressive start to their Woo! rugby championship campaign with a resounding 41-12 win over Argentina in Mendoza. So the good. The All Blacks wasted no time scoring three tries within the first 12 minutes and establishing a commanding 31-0 lead by half-time. Argentina managed to score two tries, but it was not enough to overcome the dominant All Blacks. The All Blacks' victory sets a strong tone for their rugby championship campaign, while Argentina will seek to regroup and come back stronger in their next match. I gotta say, I'm super excited for the match this Saturday, like Me too. between the Springboks and the All Blacks. Yeah, it'll be a good game. Woo! Two great teams coming together, battling it out. We'll see who overcomes. It's so good. <sighs> For pop culture this week, Barbie has collaborated with Xbox to create a special edition pink Xbox Series S. Okay. Now the console is tucked away inside a three-tier baby pink Barbie dream house with little lounges, a glittery bed, and even a pool complete with little rubber rings and the classic Barbie B symbol. The console is being given away in a competition that started on July 10th via the Xbox Twitter and Microsoft Rewards program. So let Very me get this cool. straight. You're not just buying an Xbox, you're buying a whole Barbie Playhouse edition. Well, they're giving it away, but yes. Wow. So this is it here, the console you can't really see, but that's yeah. actually attached to the whole oh, wow. dream house. I feel like is, I just did a promo for them. That's, it's very that's unique. Cool. I love it. It's good. Finally, guys, the value of the week this week is overcoming. Overcoming means to defeat or succeed in controlling or dealing with something. There are times that we can find ourselves so focused on what is happening to mm. us that we become overwhelmed and can feel stuck. In these times, it's helpful to look past our situation and focus on where we want to end up. That positive picture of the future can motivate us to keep going and succeed in coming out the other side of the problem. So when you're going through a difficult situation, focus beyond and keep moving forward by picturing where you want to end up. 
thinking about how you can get there. Great value. Thanks, Liam. All good. Now, our shout-out this week goes to Room 9 and 10 from Woo! Thornby Primary School. Let's go. We heard that you have a great school, and when I was checking out your website, I found your vision, which is creating possibilities together. That is nice. awesome. Love that. Thanks for commenting, Frankie. Stay cool. Now, if you want to get a shout out, comment on the info jam at kiwikidsnews.co.nz with your school and why you should get a shout out. Awesome, guys. Hey, well, that wraps us up for this week's Info Jam. If you want to know more about these stories and others like them, make sure you check out kiwikidsnews.co.nz. And if you're a teacher or educator, jump onto thrivevalues.org.nz and check out our Thrive curriculum for all your values educational needs. And remember to tune in next week for our next Info Jam. See you guys next time. Woo!